Okay, so I am now <laughs> leaving <laughs> uh, the morning thing. And how do I feel? I don't know why I was so exhausted today. Um, part of the reason is I went to my night job yesterday to pick up my check. And, you know, as always, you know, I'm never like the favorite person. And a lot of it's my fault. You know, the way that I come off, the way that I appear all of that stuff you know because this is a dog eat dog world you gotta <laughs> you gotta make it happen or you know you lose so that's what it was but i was just and some of it is my perception too a little bit but your perception is based on your experience and um you know there's a kernel of truth in everything like they used to say when we were little like the little um johnny Appleseed. <laughs> I know some of y'all are not following this because I'm talking about a few different things that I connected to loosely. Um, when we were little, there was a song called Johnny Appleseed that we used to do. And it says there's a kernel of truth in everything. And that is very true. There's a kernel of truth in everything. So, you know, a lot of times we like to, um, we like to discount perceptions. But perceptions are important because, again, there's a kernel of truth in everything, including your perceptions. Now, um, always, every job that I have, I never like to say that it's just a completely bad place. Not that there haven't been um, completely bad places, you know, but, you know, there's always something good about everything. So, um, I'm going to talk about this later because I'm putting on my shoes and I'm at the bus stop. Well, I guess I'll talk about it right now. I thought somebody was coming, and I thought I stopped the camera, but I didn't, so why not right now? Um, so, I've never worked a job where there would be a manager that had the audacity <laughs> to schedule you. I mean, at the point where, I think at the point where you're working any less than 10 hours a week, you might as well be fired. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, so... Obviously, um, that was <laughs> the situation. And let me tell you what made it so messed up. And as y'all know, I've had some really messed up situations, so this is nothing. But what made it really so messed up was the fact that I didn't know nothing about it. What happened was um, I caught this little blurb. <laughs> <laughs> I have allergies too. What I want on a um, scheduling module that said, uh, um, the scheduling module said that um, uh, whew, I am no longer working this one particular shift. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, um, you know, how can that be? I only work two days a week to the end, but, but shut lo and behold, I was about to be in person. I was thinking maybe they scheduled me for three. They scheduled me for three and something changed. But that's not the case at all. I had two, and um, <laughs> and not only was it taken off, but the reason that it was taken off was to give it to someone else that. I guess what the story was that was told to me from the manager was that, and I think he was honest because he didn't have to tell me that at all, or fairly honest, you know, was that um, this person submits their time on a weekly basis, you know, and um, 
So they submit their time on a weekly basis and the manager said that he forgot that it changed. So the manager didn't put that person on the schedule at all. Supposedly. And um Yeah, so he ended up taking my hours and giving it to that person. That person has been here for for a year or two, I guess. But but I'm just like the audacity <laughs> to do that. You know, I was like, wow. So, and not only did he take me off the schedule to put that person on, and now I have five hours, that person has ten. The hours are um, kind of weird, but... He took me off to put that person on, but he also extended the person because that person couldn't come until 6.30 to work a full shift. He extended that person's hours that worked the shift before so that that person could come in later to work. I was just like, I mean, that was just, I mean, that's a horrible experience, but the night job, I'm going to say, is good to have for if you want to do something social. I haven't been very social, so again, maybe, you know, if you go with the flow, then, you know, I can start using it as my personal conference hall to book meetings and stuff like that for myself and, you know, a free movie and some entertainment. So maybe it's a way for me to have to network or make friends. Speaking of which... Um, I think I'm at the wrong bus stop, and that's why I missed my bus. Because I'm at the wrong bus stop, which is a sad story. Let me see what time this bus comes. Oh my gosh, this sucks. Anyways, 